Hey guys, welcome back. We're at the root beer store again and we're doing another taste test for you guys. What are we doing today? Sparky's root beer. Sparky's fresh draft root beer. If you guys have ever tried it before, be sure to comment down below with your opinions and your thoughts. Um, it's definitely a subjective test. Okay, so to give you guys a little bit of the history and background on the brand, it was made by Kevin and Carol Knox out of Pacific Grove, California. And their whole idea was to make a root beer that catered to those who didn't drink alcohol, but something that is also kid friendly and kids could also enjoy. They were both perfectionists because they weren't satisfied with the first time they did it. So it took them 115 batches of trying it out to get to the perfect recipe, which is now what they bottle. And they started bottling that in the year 2000. The reason why they actually call it Sparkies is because they had their family house cat roaming around when they were experimenting with all the different kind of patches. And it's, and it's cat, their cat, Sparkies. oh my god. And so yeah, the house cat that they had was named Sparky and they decided to name it after him or her. It. it. <laughs> Also for this root beer, they kettle brew it, and that can take up to a week to make. Okay, so the first thing we review is just the appearance and the overall appeal of the label and the cap. So I think that it's a really simple label and it pops. Looks like it's just a picture of a fresh draft, like cup, cup of root beer. glass mug, and it says fresh draft, so they, they want you to keep in mind how fresh it is, I guess. It pops more than a lot of the other labels because it's just white Contrast. and red. And I also think that the cap specifically is really unique with this one. I also think the cap reminds me of like a mint and I've heard that when you drink it, it kind of tastes minty. Does it look like a mint? Uh, yeah, it does. Describes it like a mint, doesn't it? It reminds me of like a 50s parlor cafe. Yeah. It serves pie tiny. shakes or something. Yeah. yeah. So another thing that's kind of cool is they don't just do it in the 12 ounce bottles, they also use bomber bottles which are bigger and they look kind of cool. So yeah. Pretty cool that they do that. Not a lot of root beers do that. In fact, I can only think of about four. Yeah, that and it bottles. holds almost twice the amount, just under twice the amount that a normal 12 ounce bottle is. Well, 22 ounces in it. Yeah. Okay, number two, we're going to judge the the vapor and so we're gonna open it up and taste it. Okay, to me that smelled like a hint of honey and probably either some sassafras or like birch. All right, and uh, number three, how we judge is the first sip. So that's just how it's like, right when it hits your tongue. So let's do it. Not a whole lot of froth foam in this one, which means there's, they don't put clay extract or yucca extract or anything like that to make foam. There's like almost no foam. And the flavors are pretty prominent, like strong. Yeah, with sharper root beers, the flavor usually pops a little bit more. So yeah, so very sharp and dark, right on the first sip. And uh, I would always tell the customers that Sparky's is the one that has a spark right when you drink it. It's like a punch to the face. So fourth, thing that we kind of review is the aftertaste, which a lot of times is different. I feel like it almost has a sweeter aftertaste, like the honey comes out more after, because it's so sharp, after it goes down the honey pops a little bit more. I feel like after I drink it, it stays in my mouth. It's almost like you just got done eating a mint. <laughs> yeah. It's weirdly like almost a little bit bitter, but not in a bad way like the aftertaste. It's like kind of like you can still it's taste like the almost, bitter. It's like almost on the edge of bitter, <laughs> but it still tastes good. Whatever the word is before bitter. <laughs> yeah. 
Comment down below if you know what that is. <laughs> if there's a word for that. <laughs> Random tip, always drink it cold. Oh yeah, always better on ice. Alright, overall thoughts, what do you think, Stasia? I thought it was, I usually don't prefer the darker ones or sharper ones, but this one left me like, after I take a sip, I kept wanting to taste it again because it's just so different. Yeah, you don't get tired of it. It's yeah. definitely like one far side of the spectrum. Root beers usually there's creamier, frothier, smooth, sweet ones more vanilla and stuff and the this is like definitely like the other side of the spectrum sharp but it still has the honey so it doesn't make it too dark i think they did that for the aftertaste Sweet. so it wasn't so bitter but yeah well done very sharp it's a punch to the face i'll tell you that thanks guys for watching if you liked what you saw be sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all of the taste testing reviews um, I think next month we're going to be doing AJ Stevens root beer. Yep. Um, that will be the root beer of the month then. So tune in then. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.